What's up with that plat? Wait. Oh, there's a treasure chest on that platform. Oh, well, then we should try and grab that this episode. Hey, guys and gals, welcome back to Paladin Plays Okami. Last episode, we and Kushi set off for the moon cave, and despite our best efforts to protect her, she was captured by Orochi, and she's now at the top of the moon cave with Orochi in his lair. So we're going to try and work our way up from, from the bottom of the moon cave to rescue her and hopefully defeat Orochi once and for all. So, starting off, let's go ahead and go talk to that imp down there. Most of the imps here are friendly. The only ones who aren't are really just in any demon scrolls we see. Hmm? This is a fine time for the chef to disappear. Last time I remember, he was right in front of that big pot. Where could he be? I don't know. Maybe since he was in front of the big pot, there was also. Those lizards. Man. I think they're done, chef's assistant. I think they're done. They're very well done, actually. They're like completely charcoal. Anyway, sorry. <laughs> Me criticizing their their cooking style, but I don't know. It's just their culture. They like <laughs> they like charcoal. <laughs> Uh, whatever, whatever you're into food-wise, I guess. Anyway, uh, since he, since the chef was right over here, maybe he fell into the soup. So let's go ahead and pick this lid up. One there, and one there. And sure enough, there he is, drowning. Surprisingly, he's not dead. Owie, owie, owie! Hot stuff! Hey, sweetheart. Yeah, you. Get me out of here before I end up well done. Owie, owie, owie! Phew. That was a close one, darling. I'm the fabulous head chef of this kitchen, by the way. No need for formalities. You can just call me a Jimmy. And we're going to do formalities anyway. Head chef. A Jimmy. I was cooking with such tender loving care that I totally spaced out and almost cooked my own goose. Tender loving care? What an absolutely fabulous mask you have there, sweetheart. Say, how would you like to be my assistant, just because I saw your face? Uh, well then, that's... Never judge a book by its cover. Uh, specifically this book, because this is actually a god that, that would actually kill you whenever you did something wrong. Assistant? Oh no, I... I have to whip up a lip-smacking appetizer to whet o Lord Orochi's appetite before the time comes for the human s sacrifice course. Please, I'll make it worth your while. Wait, wait, we, uh, didn't come here to help, you see. Also her face. <laughs> Looks so good. Or how should I put it? Tusk Tusk. Never mind that. It's just I've run into a wee bit of a problem. I am almost done, but alas, I've run out of my secret ingredients. I could finish up without them, but then I wouldn't be putting my heart into my beloved's meal. Beloved? Well, I can relate to your obsession with the detail. I mean, quality does suffer when you cut corners. All artists know that. Anyway, I'm in, Fruitcake. That's fabulous news, sweetheart. There are four secret ingredients I'll need you to find. Now pay attention. All of them can be found somewhere in the moon cave. Okay, here goes. Ogre liver, lips of ice, eyeball of fire, black demon horn. Got that? Okay then, I'm counting on you. Oh, silly me, I almost forgot. Here, take this key with you. The rest is up to you, darling. What a... S strangely nice imp. Very strange. Okay, now that treasure chest I mentioned earlier, we should be able to nab by jumping up on the lid, which is really wonky looking with the ultra stretched out vines. And then we should be able to jump up here and get whatever it, whatever's in here, and it's an exorcism slip M. Very useful, actually. So, with that, let's go ahead and go into the main room and unlock that door. And actually, let's talk to this guy first. Actually, I already knew the chef fell into the pot, but that's okay. I, I'm sure it would o would have only enhanced the flavor. Blech. Anyway, we're counting on you to find the seasonings. Look, the locations are marked on your map. It should help you to locate them. And there's some... Wow, this is a lot of... Oh my word. Seven floors, although most of them are tiny. So, never mind. It's more like one floor, because of how tiny these are, these floors are. Okay, with that out of the way, let's go. Uh, there is an ingredient right across this ice wall, but we can't get this because we cannot 
get through ice. We power slash it, and it just flies up and falls back down and refreezes, so we can't do anything with that except leave and hit these pots. Or, and that one too. There we go. Okay, so let's go ahead and unlock that door across the way. We should be able to just run onto this elevator and jump on over. Ugh, there we go. And, okay, I do have the key. And I, you've been gored. Remember guys, Igor supports lock security, or door security, or house security, whatever. Homeland security, I guess. Even though that's <laughs> not really homeland security, it's more like home homeland non-privacy. Anyway, I'm going to stop talking about political things right now, because I should not be talking about them on the channel. That's not dedicated to political things, unless I'm talking about political things in the game, which I doubt those things would exist, although you never know. Anyway... <laughs> Let's go ahead and progress, even though I went on a little bit of a tangent about political things, about how government... Never mind, let me stop talking about the government. Okay, uh, this platform is a little bit of a respite from our vining, because if you don't have that as many ink pots as I do, you may need to stop and refill. And also, there's a secret hidden right here. A bomble wall that I'm going to go ahead and blow up. And a bud that, if I bloom, will give us... A vengeance slip. And nice, that's very cool. Right, so let's go ahead and go this way. We can actually skip a blossom if we... Whoa! That was weird. If we do a run jump. We actually don't have to do a run jump, but I like doing a run jump. Okay, let's go ahead and vine over here, and vine over there. And we're at the end, with four ink pots to spare. And we have this thing. Uh, hmm? Check out this eyeball lantern, Ami. I don't trust the shifty-eyed thing. It's kind of freaking me out. I feel, I'd feel i feel a whole lot better if we could make it shut somehow. And uh, the game won't let us progress unless we make it shut. The door's shut tight. And there's no keyhole or anything. How are we going to open it? Hmm. Uh, that guy is shaped like a key, sort of. Actually, he's, he's very much shaped. Also, he has a foot. He's just a foot with an eye. That's disgusting. Ugh. Thing. Go away, that's disgusting. He's just a leg and a foot and a sandal with an eye. That's gross, game. Seriously. Designers, what were you thinking? Ugh. Well, I know what you're thinking here, and that is battle. So let's go and battle. Uh, in this area is a bud ogre, which we haven't seen forever, and a couple imps. Uh, let's go and kill this one while we're at it. Get him out of the way, and then let's go and kill this bud ogre. Uh, and he's open. We should be able to kill him in one go. Uh, unless that red imp gets in the way. Uh, let's go ahead and finish him off. Finish him off. And bloom him. Uh, I missed the floor finisher. Wonderful. And I lost all my godhood. Even better. But hey, that's why I have my rosaries. Okay. I still got a perfect rank, so that's fine. Also, I'm almost back up to 50,000 yen. That's cool. Okay, in this chest is one of the ingredients we've been searching for. An ogre liver. Fresh liver used as an ingredient in Orochi's appetizer. Well, uh, I guess maybe that's like the only way we can get up is if we ride with the appetizer or maybe in it. Ugh, that's a bad thought. So, I guess this all this helping out is going to a good cause, not just feeding Orochi, giving him a nice midnight snack. Ugh. Man. If they're using, like, livers and eyeballs and demon... Oh. Demon horns? That's disturbing. Okay, let's go and go. This way. Now, I didn't... I don't think I needed to say, so I didn't really point it out, but I will. You, do, you don't want to jump down there. That's death. It's not a game over, but you will respawn right here and you... Right where I am. And you all will, uh, lose a unit of solar energy. So don't jump down there. Just... Word to the wise. I've done it in the past, and it's it's not fun bears. It's not bad news bears. It's not slightly homicidal bears. It's uh, it's not fun bears. Or I guess you could say not fun koalas or something. I don't know. Whatever your preference is. Okay. Let's go ahead and go here. We're in. F we're on floor number two, so we're already making a lot of progress. And just to show that we're on floor number two, the game will give us a cutscene and a chest down there. You guys see the chest? I see the chest. But how do we get back up? Uh, is that 
question. Is th okay, the chest is worth it. I'll I'll go get the chest and then cut back up here. Just because I like you guys and you guys are cool. Also, I need to record like the 50 subscriber special. No. <sighs> Be right back. Also, wait, what? Oh, never mind. Uh, there, these flowers here will actually move you to where you were. So, neato. That's cool. Sweet. Okay, so never mind. Forget what I said. Uh, and also, it looks like that ice over there might, like, put another flower, um, in it. So we can actually head up to that chest. So I won't bother getting that chest now. I'll get it later when we can destroy ice if we get that ability. Uh, that door's locked over there. But this one is open, so let's go in this one. Very dark. Uh, the sign. Breaks easily, so be careful. Careful now, Ami. Better tread lightly. There is no workman's comp for people who uh, impersonate workers. Okay, there's ice there, which we can't deal with, so we might as well actually leave, because there's nothing for us here except the broken thing. I wish I had workman's comp! But I take no fall damage! Okay, so what's here? There's a person here. That, well, not a person, but an imp. Ah... <sighs> I couldn't think of a more boring job than this. When I get the signal, I open the valve over in that wall. And when I'm told to close it, I do so. Day in and day out. I'm nothing more than a cog in the machine. Well, that's your fault for not attending school. Give the signal using the bamboo fountain. Hmm. There's no water nearby, so I only assume we should deal with this demon gate to make the water appear, so let's go and do so. Uh, this battle is required, so I will show it. Also, as a black imp, which we could f use more experience in fighting. And, word to the wise, uh, if you have a powerful weapon like I do, you actually don't need to destroy any of the skulls of the black imp. You can just zero death it like that. So yeah, don't even bother, uh, if you have a powerful weapon, that is. If you do not have a gold dust enhanced, uh, life beads, then, uh, you should probably destroy the skulls first. Very nice. And best ranking on the match, and that will give us 3,000 yen. Man, battles are so good for getting money. And that will give us the waters, just like I inferred. Inferred? Yeah, inferred. Okay, so let's go ahead and... Also, we're very close to being able to upgrade our wallet. If you remember, we need 150 praise to do so, and we're at 139, so... I might actually upgrade my wallet next, just because we're getting pretty rich. Okay, so that will signal him, and he will do his job very well, and fill this place with water, and we'll all drown and die. And it will also drain the elevator shaft, so we should be able to go down now. And also, this the designers are very good at designing dungeons, so they gave us a shortcut back to the beginning. Aren't they amazing? Like, seriously, these dungeons, I've had no complaints about. Even though this is our third dungeon, and they're actually very short. But, you know, it. I've had no complaints about these. They're all well designed. Oh my word, that startled me. Okay, let's go ahead and kill this guy. Uh, kill him quickly, kill him quickly, kill him quickly. And he's dead, and he gives us three things. That was, like, really surprising. That startled me hardcore. Okay. That was actually very quick. It was only took like 10 seconds. Okay. Man, I have to catch my breath because that startled me a lot. I can examine this. Hmm? You feel that too? There's a wind blowing up from below. Huh. Maybe we should hit this switch and stand off of it because it looks like it could be bad. And sure enough, it is bad because we could fall into our deaths. And open up a new thing, which the elevator can go into. And... The game designers are, once again, amazing people, and they gave us a shortcut back to the beginning. If I can actually use it. There you go. Jump up here, and go over to the elevator, which is right there. Ugh. Let's go and talk to this guy. Gulp. Now that the water below is receded, I'm surprised to see how deep the shaft is. I feel all weak in the knees. This The elevator will go crashing down to the bottom if I don't keep a firm grip on this crank here. So you better not disturb me. Got it? Uh, sure. Whatever. Wait, I, that was not a circle. 
Oh, well, okay, let's power slash him. And by power slashing him, he will actually lower the elevator. Like so. And we can actually go all the way to the bottom without him falling to his death. And you see how... <laughs> oh, my word, graphical glitch. Oh, the graphical glitch. Look at that. There are like three levels of of the thing. That is funny. Look at the look at the fl the flowers appear in midair. Oh, it's it's a gorgeous thing. Oh, this game has a, quite a few graphical glitches. Um, one one notable one is last episode. Uh, is when we saw the suspicious person. I'm not going to say who it was for those of you who didn't really catch on. Uh, but this mysterious person who watched us go into the moon cave. You notice there was a a graphical glitch on his backside, so you could actually see him. Uh, you could see his skin through his clothes. Uh, it was it was funny. Go back and watch it if you didn't already. Hee hee hee! I'm a pink imp. I'm happy I also have a horn. I guard the door here. Boy, I just love this job. It makes life worth living. I recently added a special mechanism to the door. Now it's really hard to open. The sight of people trying with all their might to open the door makes me laugh my head off. Hee hee hee! Thank you, Bowser Jr. I will... You know what? No. He enjoys his job, so I won't hurt him. I'll just make him blind. Okay. Uh, the me mechanism he was talking about is four of these disgusting key eye hole things. And a battle! Uh, I guess that's another thing. And a blue imp, which we haven't we haven't been able to fought, fight with its floral finisher. Oh, that's good. That's really good. Okay, let me go and kill these red imps, and then I can focus on the blue one. Okay, character bio, initiate. Uh, so what you want to do is immediately start out with a gale storm, and it will force it to the ground. Then it's as weak as any other imp in the game, and you can just kill it till it's dead. And then its floral finisher is gale storm. Sweet. <laughs> That was a very quick battle. I've been waiting forever to be able to make that bio because I don't make them until the actual episode where I'm going to use them. Because if you if you uh, look at the bios, the enemy bios, uh, the symbol for Matarasu actually changes depending on what weapon we have equipped. I always make sure that the symbol for Matarasu is one with her current weapon that she has equipped. So, you just notice, uh, so I actually have to wait until the actual episode because I have no idea what weapon I'm going to be equipping. So, that was really neat. We actually got to do that. Sweet. Okay. Examine. Hmm? What's up with this iced statue? No wonder it's so chilly in here. I love, I love chilliness. <laughs> my, my family knows how much I like chilliness. Ami, this is no ordinary chill. It's kind of a creepy feeling. I bet there are monsters be nearby. Better be careful. And here's our first, uh, here's the monster. This is a new, a new one. This is an ice mouth, or as I like to call it, ice lips, because that makes more sense and it rolls more better off the tongue or the lips. Okay, immediately when the battle starts, you want to hit it, and that will challenge it to attack you or not. Okay, uh, normally, when you fight this guy, what you want to do, like this, I'll oh, snap. Okay, whatever, uh, I actually did this battle very poorly, but what you want to do is when the battle starts off, you want to attack it, and then it will attack you like that, and you can actually counter-attack it and bring it down to half health. Now, because we do not have its floor finisher as of yet, uh, I can't do it. However, I will be showing the uh, the enemy bio because we're just about to get its floral finisher, so I'd rather not wait till we fight another one. Also, I did badly on time because I missed the uh, counter-attack. And it seems the ice lips were causing that statue to be frozen. Now that it's not, it can reveal its true and perfect form. It is perfect cell. This phoenix is only a statue, right? I mean, it looks like it might take take off at any moment. Like I was saying, we have a new brush technique. You guys can probably guess what it is, because I just showed you in, in the enemy bio. But hopefully I won't spoil it. Well, I already did, but I won't spoil it verbally, because you guys may not have looked at the bio. But it's pretty cool.
Actually, it's not cool at all. It's actually, it's it's pretty hot. Ah, Amaterasu, origin of all that is good and mother to us all. Sealed away by the dark forces, I have spent years in this cave. Time passed, but I was unable to make my way to freedom. But now, your power has lifted the curse that plagued me. I, Moegami, god of flames, lend you my fiery power. Burn a new source of light into the obscuring darkness. And with that, we get... Carp, dark, dark, carp, dark, dark, carp. Wow, never expected to find a brush god here. We got a powerful ally just when we needed it. Moegami is the most fearsome of all the brush gods. Its technique, known as Inferno, reduces almost anything to cinders or ashes. Hmm, who should be our first victim? I know, that ice over there! Listen up, Ami, Inferno is based on the power of fire. You gotta place your brush on the source of fire and draw a line. The power of fire will surge into the line, creating an Inferno. But actions speak louder than words, so try it out on that ice. Place your brush on that flaming statue and draw a line to the ice. It's basically I literally identical to Water Spout, except it can be used in battle, and you start with fire instead of water. However, and also just like Water Spout, I like to draw all over the screen before unleashing. It's fiery goodness. You did it, you big furball. That's one hot technique. It'll probably probably only singe a few scales off that Orochi, but it'll make crispy critters out of the snake's underlings. That it will, Isun. That it will. So, with our new power, we can go through this door and see what lies beyond. And it's another elevator and some more ice, which is even better. Let's go ahead and melt that and bomb it and go through. And inside is a chest that contains an Infinity Stone, which I actually may use in the battle against Orochi. You never can tell. Alright, this guy. Wee! You... It's been so long since anyone stepped by. Stopped by. I was worried that the crank was going to rust from lack of use. Well, let's crank this thing up. Wee! You. And just like that, we don't have to give him any any further coaxing other than our bright, shining, smiley, slightly angry, slightly demented face. And he'll crank us up. Up to the top. Very slowly. Uh, are we, are we almost there? We're almost there, can I? No, oh, that'll make us go down. Uh, no, sorry about that, sorry, I'll help you crank. You know what, actually, will this make you crank fast, faster? No? No, okay. Hurry up, please. Hurry. Hurry. Man, you take about as long as the Wii U Mario Kart 8 loading time. Seriously. Get a move on. Please. Wait, what? Oh, there's no loading screen. Oh, it's just a platform. Okay. Uh, up here. What's up here? A thing? Oh! Oh, here! This place! This place! This place here! We're actually at, uh, the thing. The kitchen. We're right behind the kitchen. So before we melt that ice right there, let's go ahead and defeat this demon gate. And this are ice cl Ice lips! Ice lips! Ice lips! Okay, you want to be very, very ready with your thing. No, with your sub-reflector. Uh, no, 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 no. That's not going to end like that. Okay, let's go ahead and use fire. No, fire. Okay, we want to use fire on these guys, and it will hurt them. Oh, uh, come on. Seriously, game. Seriously. And I missed the full finisher. Come on. There we go. Actually, never... Oh, you can get the floor finisher on the spinny thing. I did not know that. I should have done that in the first battle. Okay, let's go ahead and finish it off. And finish it off. And floral finisher, where's the torch? Floral finisher, fire burst. And it will give us two. Very cool. Okay. Actually, I didn't do half bad there. I lost some da I took some damage, but I didn't do ba as badly as I thought I did. Wow, that's like the first case of the game actually telling me I did better than I actually did. Thank you, game. And lips of ice. Wonderful. Chewy, chewy lips used as an ingredient. Ugh. Yeah, ugh. I pity the guy who found out that they're chewy. Not Chewbacca. Chewy. Okay. 
Uh, let's go ahead and, while we're here, go ahead and return, or not return, but give these ingredients to, uh, Ajimi? Is her name? Isn't it? Ajimi, okay. What do we have here? You brought back more than one of the in secret ingredients? Wow, you're good. I just knew you'd make the perfect assistant. It was nothing. Anyways, we're kinda in a hurry. You offered ogre liver. You offered lips of ice. Ha <laughs> ha! With each secret ingredient I add, my love for Lord Orochi shall deepen. Maybe we shouldn't give you those things. They're, they seem pretty bad for you. Okay, uh, we're kind of nearing the end of the episode a little bit. So... Let's see, I don't know. Uh... I guess we could progress a little bit more. So anyway, with each ingredient you get, um, one of these things will appear. So this one is a clover, which contains probably five preys. <sighs> Come on. Th 30 preys? What? Wah! Okay. <laughs> well, the day when I said that, uh... That, that I was awaiting when Clovers would c have more than five praise is finally here. Now you guys can see why I normally, or when I first got Clovers, I was so excited because they give you so much praise. Oh my word. I'm upgrading my wallet right this moment. There you go. We can now hold, uh, uh, we can now hold up to 999,000 yen. Sweet. Okay. Wow. 30 praise. That was, that was a very good reward. Okay. Uh, this thing... What is that? Let's talk to this guy. Talk to this guy. Hey, don't ring the Ip Epicurean bell yet. You're not supposed to ring it until the appetizer's ready. Lord Orochi will punish, uh, punish us if it's rung before that. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and... Let's see, where are we supposed to go next? Hmm. Should I end it here? You know what? I think I'm going to end it here. Sorry for me waffling the past couple minutes, but, you know, I, I always like to give you guys uh, beyond what I want to say other LPers do, but I, I do like to go a little bit further up in time than other LPers, just because I like to do it. I like recording longer than most people. I like recording for, for say, 40 minutes. Um, and since I, I only have one LP going at a time, you know, I have the luxury of doing so, so I'm a little bit more fortunate than other Let's player. So I, I do like going long on time. Um, but this time I'm actually a little bit short on time. I'm like 28, 29 minutes. So uh, good on me. I actually did that. Okay. So next episode we're going to be getting. Let's see. Uh, she wanted. Let's go ahead and look at our map so you can do this outro proper. Uh, not that. That. So next episode we're going to be heading into the second floor to melt that ice that we saw uh, earlier this episode, and we're going to be grabbing the last two uh, ingredients for the soup. And then we should be able to head up to Orochi's lair. Okay, wow. I release no episodes of Okami Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. Saturdays are long episodes. And if you like this episode, comment. If you didn't like this episode, uh, tell me how I could make further uh, future episodes so you would like them. So, I'll see you guys next time for another Pal Plays Okami. And, um, I'll give you guys a view that's very worthwhile. Maybe I'll go and eh. I waffle a lot. Okay, I'll just give you guys a view. I don't care what it is. I'll just go up here and give you guys a view. So, bye.